I deactivated my Facebook and Instagram. So if you had me on those, I'm no longer on them. I don't foresee myself ever going back on those platforms. But this particular girl here that he followed and messaged, one that I blocked out her name, was one of my subscribers who emailed me a screenshot to show Mario is back on Instagram and tried to start a chat with her, which I'm sure he attempted to do the same with a slew of others hoping one fish will bite the bait he laid out for them. But this screenshot here of him trying to chat up random girls on Instagram is evidence that once again he would be lying and cannot be trusted. He is clearly not focused on God the way he's going to tell the public he is. This guy is a criminal. He should be prosecuted for all the donations he accepted under false pretenses and bought drugs with. But he gets away with it scot-free. This guy has been running scams on people for years and even admitted to it on a live stream that he had last year just months before his texting scandal was exposed. Here's a clip. Coffee is for closers. I was a closer. I was a shooter. <laughs> What's up, Mrs. Jones? Pull up your credit card there. <laughs> I was really good. I'm a really good salesman, man. <laughs> man, uh, we would just get on the phone and boom, 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 one victim after another. I know that he's talking about here what he was doing before YouTube, but now that we've learned just how hypocritical and dishonest he's been throughout his entire YouTube career, it's really not much of a stretch to believe that he's actually conveying to his viewers that he's still, in fact, a criminal in a subtle, hidden in plain sight way that most cannot discern. He just comes across a little too giddy and excited talking about his criminal past. We now know during the time of this live stream, he was involved in criminal activity himself as he was accepting donations for an online ministry but buying drugs with the money. How is that any different than the credit card scam he was talking about running before he started YouTube. He was scamming people before YouTube, and when that dissolved, he discovered a new way to scam people. I've fallen into sexual sin. I've uh, fallen into substance abuse. I've fallen into treating people horribly. Um, I'm doing a lot better. A lot of it had to do with uh, my struggles mentally. Um, there you have it, everyone. I confess I've lived a double life and I'm not doing that anymore. Up until recently, um, you know, I, I have not been living up to what I should have. I confess I've lived a double life and I'm not doing that anymore. What's up, Mrs. Jones? Pull up your credit card in there. <laughs> I was really good. I'm a really good salesman, man. We would just get on the phone and boom, 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 one victim after another. It's horrible. It's not worth it. There's consequences, okay? God set up the world, okay, in a way that when you are doing illegal activities, it's going to come crashing down on you. All things are going to be brought to the light. It is better, young people, to live with integrity. People uh, have said things um, like, Mario, you only came clean when you got exposed. Yeah. It is better, young people, to live with integrity. You only came clean when you got exposed. Yeah.